Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is an amateur bout scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the middleweight division. This bout is not sanctioned by the Florida State Boxing Commission. Your referee for this bout is Bill Clays. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks with the red trim. She weighed in at 139 and one quarter pounds. Her fighting style, Muay Thai, fighting out of the extreme gym in Lauderdale Lakes, Florida. Let's welcome Susie Montero. Her opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red with the blue and yellow. Her fighting style is Muay Thai. She fights out of the USA Muay Thai kickboxing from Crystal River, Florida. Let's welcome Andrea Taina Warrior Ortiz. So it's time now for the ladies to get into the mix. Amateur Shindo Kumite three. Andrea Ortiz on your right and Susie Montero on the left. Susie comes in 21 years old out of Miami, Florida and Ortiz out of Crystal River. Sweet 16, Rob. Only 16 years old, but she is already in college. She attends CFCC College up in Crystal River. And she's trained by Stefan Butenbeck, who we're going to get a chance to see later on tonight. She bounced off the ropes right into a left hand. They're not going to rule that a knockdown. Although it was a great technique. This is Andrea's first time in the ring. Susie's had two fights before. If I, and Bill, you can tell. Yeah, it's obvious. I like the fact that they gave Andrea headgear as an amateur for her first bout. Well, you can see there's a big weight difference, too. I think it's a good idea. Montero has about 10 pounds on Ortiz. Ortiz in the black top and the headgear. Nice block. They're throwing some nice, good, straight punches, though. They're well trained, both fighters. Ortiz trying to sneak in those jabs. Again, another Doing left jab, a third back. one. She's finding a hole inside that defense of Montero. She's doing a great job of reading. It's coming in. Keeping her chin tucked. Keeping her body rolled. Oh, uh, got to avoid those. Didn't seem to phase her that much, though. Has to adjust her headgear. That could be a problem. Maybe why so many go without, but being that it is her choice and her first bout. It definitely has its disadvantages. You lose a lot of peripheral vision when you got that on. Landed a left and a right, but then took one from Montero. Hands up, hands up. Waning seconds here of the first round. Yeah, Andrea needs to keep that left hand up. Every time she throws her right, she drops her left. And Susie's taking advantage of that with that own bit, her own big right hand. Coming up, round number two. Round two, ready to go. They didn't get the warning in time. It looked like both corners were caught off guard. Still had the stools and the water buckets in there. Had to clear them out before they could begin fighting. Both fighters still looking very strong and fresh. Ortiz seems to have nice the left. punch and run, and Montero shouting instructions or some complaint to Bill Kleiss, our referee. And while she was talking, and I didn't notice, I didn't see a mouthpiece. I don't see one either. I don't see a mouthpiece in Montero. Maybe that's what she's screaming about. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Pulled out of that corner too quick. That's why she complained after that first left jab. <laughs> I felt my, uh, my number three and number four tooth move a little. <laughs> felt that one through the molars. Sneaking in a couple kicks. Andrea's doing a pretty good job of getting a couple of punches in there and then getting out of the way. Yeah, they seem to be exchanging techniques. You know, it's a roundhouse to the thigh, and I'm going to come back with the same roundhouse to the thigh. A couple of hits after the belt as Montero landed one. Ortiz said, fine, you land one on me. I'm going to sneak one back in there. Very quick round number two. I'm very impressed with the 16-year-old thus far. I like her hit-and-run tactics. 
working well for her. One thing you notice is Susie Montero, every time she throws either a punch or a kick, she's throwing it at 100%. Final round. The sweat goes flying. The punches are landing. Susie Montero in the white top. Big right cross that she misses. Wearing the headgear of the 16-year-old Andre Ortiz out of Crystal River. Something Bill mentioned earlier is blocking and some of the conditioning you do for those roundhouse kicks to the thighs. And one of those is to actually lift the knee and deflect it with your shin. Andrea did that a little bit earlier in this round. It's very effective. It can also uh, hurt the kicker, too, when you hit the knee. Susie with a few snarls at her opponent, a few snickers. Both of these fighters impressed with their energy and their conditioning. Andrea not quite as aggressive as Susie in this round. I think Andrea is about dumb. She's had a great fight so far. Really impressed for a 16-year-old. She has slowed down a little bit. Montero continuing her attack, leaving herself open on a couple of those kicks. Now wailing with the right hand. Lots of power in those punches. Yeah, she uses her hips really well on both her kicks and her punches. Generates a lot of power. She has some muscular legs. Yeah, 139 pounds. Definitely has the weight advantage on Andrea. You notice she's got a bit of a bruise on that left leg from Andrea. Something I wanted to bring up about the later fight, sorry Eric, uh, is the weight advantage. Weight head makes such a difference. Even just 10 pounds, especially when you're at this light of a weight. Our heavyweight fight tonight has about a 20 pound swing. And that, that could take effect later in the fight. That'll do it, Susie Montero. The decision. Ladies and gentlemen, before the decision, how about a nice round of applause for both fighters, please? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner on points coming out of the red corner, Susie Montero. Good fight. I'd like to see a rematch of this in about a year or two. I think it'll be a good match. We're at Shindo Kumite 4. We're having a rematch coming up from Shindo Kumite 2 uh, later on when we have Travis Crawford taking on Roberto Hannon.